Hello and welcome to another episode of Selling Life Annuities. I'm Steve Allison, uh, Annuity Specialist here at Gordon Marketing. And with me today is Tim Libby, our National Sales Director of Annuities. And today we're going to talk about what is the best annuity on the market to sell. Um, you know, that's it's a common question we get a lot, Tim. We get the question, yeah, often. Yeah. The United Agent says, you know, what's the very best product you have available today? Yeah. And the answer is always, it depends. You know, sure. you, you just don't have an answer to that question. And, and the reason is, it always depends on the unique situation. You know, who's the client? How old are they? What are their objectives? Yep. You know, are they looking for growth? Are they looking for accumulation? You know, there's all kinds of things that factor in that. So it's kind of like a loaded question. And a, very often an agent expects an answer to that question. And then sometimes they feel like we might be being evasive or coy and not answering it. But the truth is, we don't know. Not without asking a lot more questions. That's right. And so, like Tim kind of alluded to, there's a number of different, you know, ways you can go about with depending on what their interest is or what their goals are. So... Let's just talk about a couple of those different ones. Yeah, like so growth, uh, yeah. and new, growth and accumulation would be probably the first one we want to talk right. about. So an attempt to sort of answer the question, mm -hmm. you know, so what's the question? Okay, depending on your situation. So maybe we talk to the agent and we determine that his client's objective is growth right. or accumulation. You know, so they're still building up money for retirement. Right. So so we can we can go down that road and think about what would be the really good alternatives to consider in, in that area. You know, and with, with growth, it's kind of interesting because, you know, we might have 10 different products that are all 10 year surrender charges. They all have 10% free withdrawals. They all have about the same, you know, uh, commission, let's say. Yep. Um, they all have indexes that may or may not credit interest depending on how they perform. They all probably have fixed rates. So what's the difference, you know, what's the differentiator there? You know, it may be something as simple as what company they're already contracted with. Yep, it or, could, could right. be probably even, is the company A rated, A plus, B, B plus? It could be the ratings, Those are different right. things. It might be the index yep. that's offered. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, there, there could be a number of things, you know, maybe the, maybe the client has a preference for a carrier, you know, so there's a lot of different things that would, that would go into that. Um, but on, on the growth annuity too, there, there is a little bit less, um, uh, you know, uh, s subjective, you know, differentiation between those products because a number of them are going to meet the client's needs for growth or accumulation very well. Right. And it still goes into... You're going to have some years that are going to be zero. Some years are going to have a lot of interest, good interest rate. And we, can't, we don't have that crystal ball. So, you know, fitting the best situation can be can be uh, not not too concerning, which if you go one route or another, because they're going to have, you know, a lot of times the same similar outcome. You know, Tim, another area of differentiating when you're coming to these growth and accumulation options is liquidity. A lot of Clients need to have access to their money right away in the first 12 months. Some can wait a year or two. So Absolutely. either having 0% or even 10% or 5% withdrawal is kind of handy, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, and that, and that can be a differentiator. If you've got a product with a little to no liquidity that's not going to meet their needs, that might not work. Uh, sometimes there's options where we could like buy a right or pay a fee to get some additional or enhanced liquidity if we need to. Or, or even further, sometimes the liquidity might be for a very specific need, something like long-term care or confinement, you know, to a nursing home or, or just missing two six eighty else. You know, there will be different things that might, you know, drive their need or desire sure. for liquidity. Yep. So th so that's a big one. Yeah. So another one that comes to mind when it comes to figuring out differentiating which one's gonna write one for them is sometimes they've experienced loss in the market or they have an annuity already that has a surrender charge. We have to overcome that as an agent. So bonuses Sometimes that, that's another one that comes to mind for a differentiator. That's a great point, yes. But when we're talking about growth and accumulation, a bonus can be important and can be, you know, really reassuring to get a bonus of 10% or even more day one on a product. Uh, you know, that, that said, we often find sometimes that that non-bonus products will often outperform the bonus products in the 8 to 10 year time frame. So we, we do see that. Yep. So to some degree, you get what you pay for. But there are sometimes that the certainty of a bonus is important for those so for those early years in a contract. Mm -hmm. So so that can also have something to do with what we choose as the suggested yep. solution for, 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 for an agent, uh, you know, when they ask that question. Yep. You know, and a couple other, one or two more I'm thinking of that come to mind is, Sometimes they're interested only in passing on to a beneficiary, you know, creating a legacy, and they're only focused maybe on a death benefit. Maybe they aren't that healthy either and can't even qualify for life insurance. Uh, some annuities can offer that. 
Excellent point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what's the most competitive? Well, if they're looking for a legacy player, they really want to try to leave as much behind. There are different solutions that'll work well for that. Sometimes for a fee, we'll have a rider where it'll guarantee a step up in the death benefit for people. Yeah. You know, other products are going to be more friendly in the way they, that the death benefit works as it relates to surrender charges or it relates to the death of the owner in terms of what time frame it is. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different things along the lines of death benefits that can, that could make a difference in terms of what solution we ultimately pick as well. Yeah. Right? You know, the last thing I'm thinking of for when it comes to what's the best one available is the typical need we, we hear often is income. They want to have, they've they built this 401k up, they want to have income for the rest of their life. Um, you know, that's that's a huge different yeah. avenue we can go down. Yeah, that's a great point. And it's funny because when, when it's for income, sometimes that's probably the easiest way to answer the question, it what's really the is. best? Because mm -hmm. very often the highest income wins, yeah. but, it, but it still depends. Are we talking about income right away? Uh, for a 65-year-old, or are we talking about income in, in 10 years on a 65-year-old when they turn 75? So there's a lot of variables that come into play on that. But that, that said, um, even if we could answer the, the question about, you know, who's got the highest income for them, that changes all the time, too. The time. You know, sometimes more than once a week, we're seeing the, <laughs> the top players uh, with the highest incomes for someone change because it's a highly competitive market. We've never seen incomes as high as they are right now. So we do see things moving around. And so the end, again, the answer to that question, what's the yeah. best, changes often. Yep. Uh, and, and so uh, and as soon as I would tell someone what's the best, we say, well, today it's North American. <laughs> I'll have egg in my face because that day right. someone else might move ahead of them. Yep. Yeah, so it's interesting. Yep. Well, thanks, Tim, for going through this with me. You know, again, it's it's really important that because we just went over all these different ways of how it, it could depend on what the right or the best product is, is, is making sure you ask all the questions needed from your client. You need to go through the goals, go through where their their assets are currently, those type of things, and have be, be prepared to go over those with us. And we can help make sure we get you the right or the best annuity for your client. So Tim, how can they get a hold of you if they need any help? All right. Um, they can email me at timl at gordonmarketing.com or they can call me. My direct number is 330-283-6140. Yep. And you can get a hold of me. My email is sallison at gordonmarketing.com and I'm an extension 140. So with that, make sure you subscribe to our, our, um, our page. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you like or share or comment and happy selling.